Have you ever pondered about the closest relatives of dinosaurs? You might be surprised to learn that the chirping bird outside your window is a direct descendant of theropod dinosaurs. Birds, scientifically known as avas, are the living testament to the legacy of these magnificent creatures. Over millions of years, through the process of evolution, small feathered dinosaurs adapted, survived, and eventually became the birds we see today. The similarities between a bird's skeleton and those of their dinosaur ancestors are quite striking. The hollow bones, the shape of the hip bone, the structure of the feet, all point towards their shared lineage. Birds are in fact the only living group of dinosaurs left today, so they are not just related to dinosaurs, they are dinosaurs. So next time you see a bird, remember, you're looking at a modern day dinosaur. Moving on from the skies to the swamps we find crocodiles, alligators and their kin. These formidable creatures, known as crocodilians, are part of a larger group called archosaurs. This ancient and diverse group also includes the mighty dinosaurs. So what ties these seemingly different creatures together? It's all in the shared characteristics. Both dinosaurs and crocodilians exhibit some similar features, such as a semi-erect stance and a unique heart structure. Additionally, crocodilians and dinosaurs share a common ancestor, dating back to the late Permian or early Triassic period, around 250 million years ago. This makes crocodilians the closest living reptilian relatives of the dinosaurs. So next time you marvel at a crocodile's fearsome strength or an alligator's stealthy hunt, remember that you're witnessing traits honed over millions of years of evolution, traits that once belonged to the dinosaurs that roamed our planet. Thus, these fearsome creatures are living relics of the dinosaur age. From the swamps we journey to the ponds and oceans where we find turtles. These armored reptiles with their distinct shells and slow-paced lifestyle might not immediately strike you as relatives of the mighty dinosaurs. Yet they share a common ancestry, belonging to the vast and diverse group of reptiles, just like the dinosaurs. Turtles have been around for over 200 million years, making them one of the oldest reptile groups in the world. While they are not direct descendants of dinosaurs, their ancestral roots intertwine somewhere deep in the prehistoric age. Turtles, much like dinosaurs, have evolved over millions of years, adapting to life in various habitats, from terrestrial to aquatic. Their hardy shells, which serve as both shield and home, are a testament to their enduring lineage and adaptability. So in a way, each time you see a turtle, you're catching a glimpse of prehistoric life. So the humble turtle carries with it a trace of dinosaur lineage. Our journey continues through the undergrowth, where we encounter lizards and snakes. As members of the larger group of reptiles known as squamata, these slithering and crawling creatures are not direct descendants of dinosaurs. Yet they share a common ancestor, linking them to the prehistoric era of these towering beasts. The traits that unite lizards, snakes and dinosaurs are subtle yet fascinating. For instance, both dinosaurs and their reptilian relatives have a similar way of reproducing, laying amniotic eggs with hard shells, a trait that reflects their shared evolutionary past. Additionally, the skeletal structure of lizards and snakes, particularly the skull and spine, bear a striking resemblance to that of certain dinosaur species, further cementing their kinship. So the next time you see a lizard basking in the sun, or a snake slithering through the grass, remember that these creatures carry within them a trace of the dinosaur lineage, a testament to the enduring power of evolution. These slithering and crawling creatures are distant cousins of the dinosaurs. Now let's travel to New Zealand where we find the unique Tuatara. These fascinating creatures are often referred to as living fossils, providing us with a glimpse into the world of prehistoric times. The Tuatara belongs to the order Rhynchocephalia, a group that shares a close kinship with the mighty dinosaurs. Virtually unchanged for over 200 million years, the Tuatara's lineage can be traced back to the Mesozoic era, the age of the dinosaurs. Their unique characteristics such as a third eye and the ability to hold their breath for up to an hour are a testament to their ancient origins. While they may not be as visually striking as the dinosaurs, their existence provides us with a tangible link to a time when dinosaurs ruled the earth. The Tuatara's survival against the odds serves as a reminder of the tenacity of life and evolution's extraordinary journey. The Tuatara is a testament to the enduring legacy of dinosaur relatives. Back to the skies we meet the majestic pterosaurs. These flying reptiles ruled the skies during the Mesozoic era, the very same period when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Pterosaurs and dinosaurs, though distinct, shared a common ancestor, 
making them akin to long-lost cousins. Contrary to popular belief, pterosaurs were not dinosaurs themselves, even if they lived alongside them. They were a separate group of reptiles entirely, carving their own niche in the ecosystem as the first vertebrates to evolve powered flight. Their wings, composed of a membrane of skin stretching from the torso to a dramatically elongated fourth finger, allowed them to soar high above the prehistoric landscapes. From the small Nemecolopterus to the gigantic Quetzalcoatlus, pterosaurs displayed incredible diversity in size and form. Their fascinating world, filled with spectacular flights and dramatic survival stories, is a testament to the rich tapestry of life during the dinosaur age. The pterosaurs, the soaring companions of the dinosaurs, continue to fascinate us. From the skies and the swamps we come home to us, mammals. We are a fascinating group that evolved from reptile-like ancestors during the Mesozoic era, the very same era when the world was under the reign of dinosaurs. Yes, we coexisted with the dinosaurs, but we were not the dominant species then. Our early ancestors were small nocturnal animals surviving in the shadows of the mighty dinosaurs. We mammals were evolving slowly but steadily, biding our time. As the dinosaurs roamed and ruled, we were quietly adapting, developing traits and characteristics that would later help us dominate the planet. When the dinosaurs finally succumbed to extinction, we mammals were ready to step out of the shadows and take our place in the world. So in a way, the legacy of the dinosaurs lives on in us. We mammals too share a page in the grand story of dinosaur evolution. Next, we dive into the waters where we find amphibians. These fascinating creatures, which include frogs, toads, and salamanders, may not seem like they have much in common with dinosaurs at first glance. However, they share a common ancestry with reptiles, including dinosaurs, as they belong to the larger group of tetrapods. Tetrapods, a term meaning four feet, encompasses all species that descended from the first land-dwelling vertebrates. This includes both the mighty dinosaurs and the humble amphibians, this connection goes back hundreds of millions of years, to a time when life was just beginning to explore the potential of the land. It's a reminder that all life on Earth is interconnected, and that even the most seemingly disparate creatures can have common roots. So the next time you spot a frog hopping by, or a salamander slithering into a pond, remember this. Our froggy friends are distant kin to the mighty dinosaurs. Deeper into the ocean we encounter sharks and rays, these creatures with their streamlined bodies and cartilaginous skeletons might seem worlds apart from the terrestrial giants we know as dinosaurs. However, they too are part of the grand tapestry of vertebrate life that ties all these creatures together. As members of the Chondrichthyes class, sharks and rays are indeed more distantly related to dinosaurs than our previous entries, but they share the same backbone, literally. Vertebrates, the group to which they all belong, are defined by their internal skeletons, a feature that has allowed for an astonishing array of forms and functions. From the majestic flight of birds to the deep dives of sharks, this skeletal framework has been the foundation for life's incredible diversity. So while they may not resemble a T-Rex or a Triceratops on the surface, beneath the waves, sharks and rays carry on the legacy of these ancient reptiles though they may seem worlds apart sharks and rays share a deep evolutionary connection with dinosaurs lastly we explore the abundant world of fish the realm of fish is as diverse as it is vast and believe it or not these water-dwelling creatures share a common thread with the colossal dinosaurs like the mighty t-rex or the graceful pterodactyl fish are part of the larger group known as vertebrates creatures with a backbone now you might be wondering, how are fish related to dinosaurs? Well, the connection lies deep within their ancestry. In the early stages of vertebrate evolution, a group emerged that would eventually give rise to both the fish we know today and the dinosaurs that once ruled the Earth. Yes, it's a distant relation, but it's a relation nonetheless. So, the next time you marvel at a goldfish in a bowl or a salmon swimming upstream, remember, they carry within them a lineage that traces back to the dinosaurs. From the deep blue seas to the high blue skies, the legacy of dinosaurs lives on in the most unexpected of places.